Tech University Honors College has a very special relationship with the Texas Tech University Health Sciences School of Medicine. Not only do we offer courses in tandem with the School of Medicine, meaning that health sciences professors actually teach our Honors College students. We in fact have um, a faculty member from the School of Nursing, we have a faculty member um, from the Department of Pediatrics who teach courses for the Honors College so that our students actually get to go to the School of Medicine, do rounds, shadow, and participate in the classrooms at the School of Medicine. They actually believe so firmly in the type of education and the research opportunities that we have and in our curriculum that they have created two very special programs unique to the Texas Tech University Honors College. The first is known as UMSI. University to Medical School Initiative. You apply for UMSI in your senior year of high school. So as you're applying for Texas Tech, as you're applying for the Honors College, you would also complete your UMSI application. So what does this mean? This means that as a high school senior, if you have received a 1360 or above on your SAT, or a 30 or above on your ACT, you are eligible to apply directly to the medical school for admission upon completion of your Honors College degree. So this means that as a senior in high school, you already get to brag to all of your friends that you have already been accepted to medical school. Um, it's a pretty big deal. Only generally eight to 12 students are accepted at a time, but it is highly, highly competitive. What are they looking for? They're looking for the student who is going to be dedicated, who is already committed to medicine, and who understands broadly the ideas of medicine uh, beyond the idea of simply diagnosis of symptoms, but of treating a whole human being, a human being who has concerns, who has family, who has fears, a whole human being who has dreams, who has hopes, so that you begin to understand not only the medical parts, not only the medicine, not only the cures, and not only the remedies, but how to communicate to your patient so that they understand best that you are on their side, that you are their advocate. And so following their course of treatment is the best course of action for your illness. So what does this mean? This means that you will apply through to Texas Tech through applytexas.org. You will complete all of the requirements, all of the um, questions on the Apply Texas application. You will apply to the Honors College at honors.ttu.edu, and you'll also apply through the School of Medicine for UMSI. All of those applications are due simultaneously for uh, the preferred uh, deadline status, which is December 1st. What happens is that Texas Tech will accept you, the Honors College will then review your application, and once you have been accepted into the Honors College, we will forward your name to the School of Medicine. There, the School of Medicine will review your UMSI application. Your UMSI application will consist of several features. It will have all of the information they will ask you for your extracurriculars, for your awards. They'll also ask for a couple essays, statements on why it is that you want to pursue a career in medicine? Why at age, age 18 or 19, you are so sure that your calling is in treatment and cure and care of the human body and human form? They will also ask you how you contribute to the ideas of diversity, how you will understand the changing demographics of Texas, how you understand the changing demographics of the world, and how you understand diversity as being beyond simply race and gender and sexuality, but also socioeconomic uh, class. Um, it, it goes to experience, it goes to comfortability with medicine, and it goes to access and inclusivity in the medical care profession. There they will also ask you for another name, for a letter of recommendation, and they will ask for their email address, and the School of Medicine will contact them so that they can send out their form, and so your recommender can answer questions about your suitability for medical school and your potential for successful completion of medical school. Beyond that, once you have been accepted by Texas Tech, the Honors College, and the Honors College forwards the fact that you have been accepted by the Honors College to the School of Medicine, the School of Medicine will thoughtfully, carefully, and considerately consider your dossier. And a select group of students will be invited to Lubbock, Texas in order to interview with the medical school. The medical school conducts these interviews just as they would for any other medical school student during the regular admissions process. 
you will speak before a panel. They will ask you questions about you, about your science preparation, about who you are as a person, about where you think medicine is going and why you think that medicine is so important. They'll ask you about your path, your journey uh, to becoming a health professional. And they will determine from those interviews who should be invited to become an UMC student. If you are accepted into the UMC program already in high school, you know that there is a place for you reserved at the School of Medicine. They will waive the MCAT. And with su successful completion of the pre-med requirements and the Honors College degree, you will have your place and you will wear that white coat and you will join the ranks of the students at the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center School of Medicine. It is a proud moment. It is a wonderful moment, and we are incredibly, incredibly privileged to have the trust of the School of Medicine, who believe firmly in the Honors College educational experience, the opportunities for research, the opportunities for study abroad, the opportunities to shadow, and the opportunities to really grow not just as a scientist, but as a human being who appreciates the arts, the humanities, the social sciences, and everything that has to go with becoming not just a doctor, but a humane and human doctor. If you are not accepted into the UMC program, there is a second opportunity. There is a second program that is known as the Early Acceptance Program, EAP, and you apply for that in your second year at the Honors College. We go through a very similar process, but this time we know you as a student. We have seen you for two years in Honors College courses and Texas Tech University courses. So you will get the recommendations from your professors. If you've been shadowing or you've been taking classes with the Honors College at the School of Medicine, one of your recommenders might be that faculty member. But what it means is that you get a second opportunity to be accepted into the School of Medicine before you have actually graduated, and they will again waive the MCAT if your grades have been uh, have met that certain threshold for the pre-med requirements and if you have successfully completed your honors college requirements. Both of these programs, UMC and EAP, speak to the trust and the relationship that the Honors College shares with the TTU HSC School of Medicine and the ways in which we continue to work together to collaborate and to cooperate in order to ensure that you will get the best education possible, you will get the best experience possible, and we will prepare you for what lies ahead. We are incredibly, incredibly proud and privileged to have this relationship. And we know that our students who are selected for UMC and EAP will go on not just to be some of the best physicians in the world, but to go on to be the humanitarians who will change the world and make the world a better place for all patients, for all families, and for our entire Texas community.